Hello, you spicy little noodles. Welcome back. First, I just wanted to say I am very sorry for taking such a long break. It was not my intention. I won't get too much into the nitty gritty details of it because I know we're here for anime and anime reactions, uh, specifically Jujutsu Kaisen today. But I will be posting a little life update video in my community tab um, probably before this video goes up. So feel free to check that out if you would like to. Last two episodes we watched were episodes 12 and 13. Won't lie, don't really remember what happened. Um, <laughs> I know that in this episode, at the very least, we are going to be getting into the uh, big tournament event thing that's going on. So uh, at the school, or it's like an exchange event with multiple schools, I believe. So I feel like we'll probably be meeting some new characters. I feel like we'll probably be seeing some new powers. And I'm very much looking forward to that. So, oh, uh, I do remember that Junpei sadly died and that, um, oh, I forget his name. The one with like the stitches all over the ghost or sorry, the human curse. It was the human curse, but I forget his name. I think it starts with an M killed, killed Junpei. And that was very upsetting to me. Oh, we also saw Nanami go like full freaking badass mode. That's about what I can remember at this point. So uh, hopefully there's like some kind of, this is a recap of what's happened before. If not, then uh, after this, I'll go watch uh, my last reaction video to get caught up. Without further ado, let's hop into Jujutsu Kaisen episode 14. Is that a brain? Oh, there you are! <laughs> Mahito, that's his name! I see you have most of your body back. Yeah, this is a good place to rejuvenate. That actually looks amazing. Don't forget your place, foolish puppet. No, not with that person. <laughs> My first move was allowing Jujutsu Hai to retrieve the fingers we had. So there's six fingers at Jujutsu Hai. Did we know that? Yeah! We'll record us playing catch with a stale rice ball <laughs> while discussing economic policies. Then we'll post the video and go trolling. <laughs> Name all the things you like about Satoru Gojo! See who names the most! My turn! Everything! <laughs> I submitted it to the higher-ups, of course. If I gave it to you, you'd have already fed it to Itadori. Interesting. You know that better than anyone, don't you? Hmm. Hey! Gojo! <laughs> so it's gonna be a big reveal. Even among sorcerers, it's rare to essentially come back from the dead after being gone for like two whole months. So we have to make it a surprise. Fanfare. Oh, I'm excited. This is going to be good. Students will cry with them and someone will choke up and vomit. <laughs> and in the end, it'll even solve global warming. <laughs> do exactly as I say and go with the flow. Hey, I can do that. I can go with the flow. Go with the flow. Oh, damn. The whole Tokyo crowd all together, huh? You actually came to greet us? Ooh, I like the girl with the hair and the broom. Never mind Okotsu's absence. Isn't fielding two first years a major handicap? Oh, it's a freaking robot! That's pretty sick, too. Now, where's that idiot? Satoru's running late. I knew she was talking about Kojo. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. <laughs> Such <laughs> <no> gotcha. <laughs> so now it's time to hand out the souvenirs. This is sudden. Is this where Yuji's gonna pop up? It's creepy when adults get all excited. Yep. Hey, what's puppy? It's your long dead friend, Yuji. What kind of a reaction is this? They don't seem happy to see me at all! Everyone from Kyoto, this is Sukuna's vessel, Yuji. <laughs> what a way to introduce him. When you saw him, that you might just keel right over dead. You know, from the shock. You insolent damn brat! <laughs> now, does Gojo actually want him dead, though? The first day is a group battle. 
Exorcism race. Exorcism race. Incredible. His speech amplifies the power and compulsion of words. He limits his vocabulary to keep others safe. So if he told someone to go die, they'd do it? Awesome. <laughs> More importantly, Yuji. Huh? Hand over my blade. You borrowed Slaughter Demon from Satoru, right? Oh. Interesting. Give me that. Here you go. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> <laughs> that was oh, disgusting. That was disgusting. Sir, so that they don't come back as a curse, you must kill them with cursed energy. That's awful. I'm gonna watch it in real time and I'm gonna record it. What kind of fool do you think <laughs> I am? <laughs> so you can plot and scheme all you want on your own. But now, if you try to order me around again, I will kill you. I don't know why. I love him. As Kamo clan elder, I decree. It must end. We will all attack Itadori together. Because he's an idiot, he has to die? Oh, no way. You're too weak. I don't have the guts for that. Oh, hysterics are a turnoff for men. You know? <laughs> wow. In that case, let's win! Who said you could go first? <laughs> oh god, now I want sushi. Why are you doing this to me? Which I guess probably means about 300 years? Are you drunk? Here, enjoy your goatfish. Oh, I don't know what goatfish is. Okay, that was episode 14. Um, that was, I guess, sort of like the intro as to how this next uh, arc or phase or whatever is going to work. Curious how long it's going to last. This sort of reminds me of like an exam phase. It's just a little bit different. But yeah, we definitely saw a bunch of new characters. I appreciate that most of them are erring on the side of not wanting to kill the teenager. <laughs> Uh, and I think it's a little bit messed up that there are any of them who think that that is okay. And I'm really curious who the traitor is. I have my suspicions, but I feel like my suspicions are too obvious and it's going to be one of the non-obvious ones. Better not be Toto. Better not be Toto. But I'm guessing it's either Toto's sister. Uh, what's her name? Ma Maya? Is it Maya? I can't remember. Or the the elder. But again, I, I feel like those are the obvious choices. It's just those were the ones who were most gung-ho about killing Yuji. But who knows? Maybe it's one of the minor ones. Yeah, that was episode 14. Let's hop into episode 15. During this event, some degree of injury will be unavoidable. You should uh, uh, help each other out or something. <laughs> If you really motivational, just small fry, small fry. Oh, shit! Now come at me all at once. Yuji's like, okay. <laughs> oh, they're gonna 1v1. I wish I could show y'all how. Spyro is laying down right now without waking him up, but it's so cute. He has one paw on the armrest, and then his face is under the armrest. So he's like... <laughs> and just conked out. Like, I'm pretty sure he's snoring right now. <laughs> I say be daring against him. To be blunt, we weren't counting on your abilities anyway, so it won't matter too much if you have to quit. <laughs> Did he get rid of that cursed spirit? Ow. Are you gonna get up, Yuji? All done, huh? 
Yuji's got up something up his sleeve, right? What gives you the right to just stomp all over my head like that? What if you made me even dumber than I already was? Takata says men are perfect when they're a little bit dumb. <laughs> and I have a feeling she's right. <laughs> Incredible. All right, Yuji Itadori. I have one question that I need to ask you. What type of women do what you like? What kind of woman is your type? <laughs> Knew it. I like a tall woman with a nice big ass. Just saying. Like Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was genuinely funny. Holy fuck. An even better question is, why do you think she'll say yes to you? I remember something that Ann Sullivan said at one point to Helen Kelly. What is all this? Is this like Toto's imagination or something? <laughs> Toto! Come on, let's go get some ramen. Ramen fixes everything. Toto gonna protect him? What the hell? Did Itadori and I just switch places? That's cool. What's with these people? Trying to kill me and then arguing with each other about it? It's lucky for you, I'm not an inconsiderate type who'd ever hold back against his best friend in a fight. So he's not gonna protect him? Yeah. They're all just so annoying. But hang in there, me. You're the cutest one. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, shit. Unless that special grade is extremely cunning, Demon Dog would have sensed it. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. It's to use the chaos and confusion of this battle to assassinate Yuji. Their attempts will end as soon as the battle does. Wouldn't he be more effective against the people? Like, they were the one person they were worried about. Or he was the one person they were worried about. <laughs> Poor Yuji's always getting beat up. The way his cursed energy hits after a time lag? Oh, that is just... It's just... <gasps> Wrong! Uh-oh, is it gonna piss him off? The exchange event has always been a big deal to sorcerers who don't have connections higher up the chain. Students who perform well here are granted many chances to advance while they're studying. It's a networking event. And if you're satisfied staying on that level, then sadly you and I can't possibly stay best <laughs> friends. You okay with that? I don't know. I don't care about that. <laughs> what kind of person is your type? Do you guys oh, know shit, Sebastian Stannis? <gasps> <laughs> See, I knew! I knew I loved her! Sebastian Stan is probably, like, pretty high up there on Celebrity Crush right now. Alright, that was episode 15. Um, that was a good one. A little bit of action there. I loved the Yuji and Toto fight. I mean, there's obviously no way that they're actually going to kill Yuji. And I feel like Toto's going to, like either come to his rescue or like change sides or whatever because now they're best friends they're best buds and like toto might help yuji because toto's very like he's a physical um he's a physical fighter right and so is yuji so he can help yuji train i feel like like gojo was really great about helping him um channel and control his cursed energy but i think toto will help him with the more like physical aspects that that you know that combat still don't really know who the traitor is and i think my guess is still about the same either my or the uh um the the leader of that group i really like the one on the broom <laughs> She's amazing, especially I was not expecting all these like celebrity name drops, <laughs> especially like Western celebrity name drops, Jennifer Lawrence, Sebastian Stan. But like of all people to pick Sebastian Stan, really? 
maybe he's like a big deal in Japan or something. I have no idea. Um, but I feel like Sebastian Stan, at least here, gets slept on a little bit. And I'm like, he is one of the most attractive men on the face of this planet. But anyway, I digress. Uh, that was episodes 14 and 15. We got started on the exchange event, and I'm assuming this is going to continue for a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, tune in next week for more Jujutsu Kaisen. I <laughs> promise I will not be going on random two-month hiatuses. Um, and again, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, again, I will post a bit of a life update in my community tab uh, on my YouTube page so that you can get caught up on what's been going on and nothing serious or anything like that. I just feel like I owe y'all a little bit of an explanation for it. So uh, I will I will put that uh, again in the community tab. If you would like early access to episodes as well as my full episode reactions, you can find those on my Patreon. I will put a link to that in the description of this video. I am also all over the internet, so feel free to follow me wherever you would like. I will put a link tree in uh, the description of this video as well. And of course, do not forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for uh, all of the anime reaction content that you desire. And that is it for this week, folks. Have a good one. Mwah.